So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing recursion in C. In the previous video, we have discussed some basics of recursion like what is recursion and if a program is having recursive function, if a program is having recursion, then what is the flow of execution of that program? With the help of two program, we have discussed two methods. First one was lengthy method, second one was a little bit simple one and short, right? So second method you will apply when uh, th that type of program comes in competitive type of exam like a gate or UGC net or these kind of exams, right? So now we will discuss in this video types of recursion, basically four types of recursion, direct, indirect, tail and non-tail. And you can also say two more types of recursion like linear and tree. So all the types of recursion we will discuss one by one. In this video we will discuss direct and indirect with proper example, with proper program you can say. And uh, more time because we will discuss one by one in later videos right but before there is one really one thing if you are preparing for gate 2022 exam or will be preparing for this examination then an academy is going to conduct an academy combat it's you can say type of scholarship test for gate and ESC aspirants so here you will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners and you stand a chance to win up to 100% scholarship. This test would be on 31st of October and in this test you will get 20 questions and the time limit would be 60 minutes. So you can assess your preparation in just 60 minutes using live leaderboard because you can see how you rank against others from all over India with a live leaderboard that shows real time ranking after every question. So better to take it live to compete with the best. And if you take it live, you will also get a chance to win some exciting prizes. You can uh, see the detail on my screen. And after every contest, you will get detailed video solutions by their experts. So you can identify your weak areas, you can improve and you can get it right next time. And you can take it for free. You just have to enroll it. The enrollment link I'll put in the description box of this video. You just go to that link, scroll down, pick up the right, uh, right test for you and just click enroll and use my code JKL10 to unlock the test. And an academy is also giving you a great offer for GATE and ESC aspirants. If you subscribe to 12 months of an academy GATE and ESC, then you will get extra 4 months on it just to help you in your GATE and ESC 2023 uh, preparation. So the price detail you can see on my screen. If you use my code JKL10, you will get extra 10% discount on this paid subscription. So all the relevant links and the details I'll put in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. So now let's discuss types of recursion. So, I hope you know what is recursion. When a function call itself directly or indirectly, that is called recursion. Like we have discussed this, you know, few example also. Like this function one. Here we have some code and function one itself calling function one, right? So this is our function calling, and where we are calling this function in the function one only. Same function is calling. This function is calling itself. So it is what recursion, right? So the same function will call itself directly or indirectly. So if it, it call itself directly, that is a direct recursion and how it is called itself indirectly, that also we'll see with, the, with one example. So this is, you can say more precisely, more precisely if I say then this is an example of direct recursion. Because this function is calling itself directly, right? Within itself, it's like uh, I'm calling myself uh, like Jenny. So I'm calling myself only directly, Jenny. So that is what direct recursion, right? So this, this, you know, this type of example we have discussed in the previous video. This, that is very simple. And this function is known as direct recursive. So you can say a function is known as direct recursive if it call itself directly, right? So this is what direct recursive function and this process is known as direct recursion. So I have, I hope uh, no need to take the example of this direct recursion. Indirect recursion is very important and little bit tricky also. See, indirect as the name su suggests, indirect recursion. So if it, it is recursion, then obviously function, recursion means function will call itself, but indirectly it will call. Like suppose I am calling myself Jenny. So I'm calling myself directly, it means that is direct recursion. But suppose I'm calling Payal, Payal is calling Jia and Jia is calling Jenny. So yeah, I am calling myself but through Payal and Jia. That is what indirect recursion. 
right or if i take simple this pile and pile is calling jenning this is also known as indirect recursion so this is also this is you can say one type of function pile is one type of function right so this process is what how we are calling in a circular motion in a circular fashion so one take i am taking pile is calling jia suppose jia is calling vyansh vyansh is calling suppose akash so these are function let's suppose these names are function itself so this is not recursion because no one is calling itself if akash is calling back to jenny this is known as recursion and it is indirect recursion right so when function call in a circular when function call occurs in a circular motion in a circular fashion that is known as indirect recursion or you can say see if a function call suppose this is function 1 and this is calling function 2 a function is calling another function and this function 2 is calling function 1 directly or indirectly then this is known as indirect recursion see in function 1 i am calling function 2 but in function 2 again i am calling function 1 so ultimately in function 1 i am calling function 1 but through function 2 indirectly so this is an example of indirect recursion right when a function call another function function 2 and that function 2 calls the first function directly or indirectly then that is known as indirect recursion and these functions are known as this this function function 1 is known as indirect recursion this is calling itself but through function 2 indirectly so function 1 is known as indirect recursive function i hope you are getting my point right and this function 2 is also known as indirect recursive because function 2 is calling function 1 function 1 is calling again function 2 so these are indirect recursive function let's take one example of this indirect recursion i hope you got the you know definition of this direct and indirect recursion right so this is a simple code i am taking that is example of indirect recursion here i am taking only uh, two function function 1 and function 2 you can take 3 4 5 function but they call their self mutually in a circular fashion so that is known as known as indirect recursion right here i am taking only two function see in main from main i am calling function 1 i am passing 5 so this is function 1 right and i am checking the condition if n less than equal to 1 return 1 else execute this condition so in function 1 i am calling function 2 so the we are calling function 2 in function 2 also first we are checking the condition and again we are calling function 1 so this is a circular Uh, you know fashion we are calling function 1 and function 2 let's take let's see what exam what output you are getting you can pause the video and you can dry run this code and see what output you are getting and after that you just resume the video and see you are getting the proper output or not exact output or not see the first of all the control will go here now here from in printf i am calling function 1 i am passing 5 so control will go here in the definition part function 1 right if you are using the calling function 1 first better first of all you will declare function 1 and function 2 both the prototype for function 1 and function 2 right how you will write int function 1 int and int function 2 and argument also only one argument of type int before this main you can write down these two uh, conditions uh, sorry these two statements these are not condition so now in n we have 5 so whatever we are going to execute that obviously that statement we will write here this method we have discussed in a previous video how to solve these kind of problems recursive problems so this condition is true no so we are going to be into else part in else part we are going to do what return n into function 2 n means here n we have 5 into function 2 but we are passing n minus 1 that is 4 so from here we are calling this now n value is 4 this condition true no else part return n into n is what from function 2 we will do what n into function 1 and we are passing n minus 1 that is 3 so from here we are again calling function 
1. Condition true? No. So, what statement is going to be executed? This statement only. Return this. Here, n is what? We are passing 3. So, n is what? 3 into, from here we are calling function 2, n minus 1 that is, we will pass 2. Now, from here again, what? We will call this function. Now, this time n value is 2. Condition true? No. This statement would be executed. Means 2 into, we are calling function 1. And what we will pass n minus 1? That is 1. So, from here again we are going to call this one. Now, n value is 1. So, what statement would be executed? Now, check the condition. n less than equal to 1? Yes, condition true. So, now return 1. Which statement would be executed? Return 1. So, it is going to return 1. Where? From where you are calling this. So, this is what function 1. So, function 1 is what? Return 1 means here we have 1. 2 into 1 is what? Output of this is 2. Now, where it is going to return this value? From where you are calling this? This. Right? So, this 2 would be returned here. 2. So, 3 into 2 is 6. This becomes 6. So, back to here. From here we were calling this. So, function 1, 3, this, this becomes 6. 6 into 4 is 24. Now, 24 would be returned here. 24 into 5 is 120. Now, 120 would be returned here. Function 1, 5. And from where we are calling function 1, 5? From here. So, in the main function, what would be returned? 120. So, it will print 120. That's it. So, it's like you can say example of what? To find factorial of a number. But using indirect recursion. So, if you are asked to find out factorial of a number using indirect recursion, you can write down a program something like this. And using direct recursion, that is very simple. Right? That I guess we have discussed in a previous video also. See, this, you know the forward flow, how we are moving forward. In the same flow, in the same process, you are going to be backward. This thing is very, very, very important. If you got this thing, recursion is nothing to you. These kind of programs, like uh, how to find output of these kind of programs, these are nothing to you. Very simple. You just have to understand the flow. The forward, how you are moving forward, that is very simple. But mainly students get confused while moving backward. After reaching the base condition, how to move backward? In the same flow. You know, how you have moved forward in the same process, in the same flow, you have to go backward. Simple. As simple as that. Right? The same path you have to take while going backward. Right? So, now uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see what tailed and known tailed recursion. So, now it's in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.